Cucumbers are spiny-skinned marine animals shaped like cucumbers. They have small tentacle-like tube feet used for locomotion and feeding. As deposit feeders, they play an important role in nutrient cycling. They reduce organic loads, redistribute surface sediments, and enhance the benthic habitat. With the declining stocks of these species in the wild, the center supports and promotes sustainable fisheries to aid the supply and demand of sea cucumbers. Sea Cucumber Research and Development Center at Mindanao State University at Naawan. The center provides vital information on the status of sea cucumber fisheries towards sustainable production and effective resource management in Mindanao. We conduct social demographic and economic profiling in selected coastal areas of Mindanao, as well as characterize sea cucumber fisheries and identify commercially important species like Holothuria fuscogilva. We also provide a scientific understanding on the habitat profile, reproductive biology, and genetic diversity of Holothuria fuscogilva in support of conservation, sustainable utilization, and mariculture of this high-valued sea cucumber. We go to different coastal areas in Mindanao for site scoping, survey on its population structures and recruitment, and characterization of the habitat of Holothuria fuscogilva. Developing a viable mariculture technology to produce Holothuria fuscogilva juveniles for stock enhancement and development of sustainable livelihood from sea ranching activities in northern Mindanao is also part of the center's goals. We refine hatchery protocols and captive breeding techniques of Holothuria fuscogilva, from the induction of its spawning to its larval rearing. We have successfully seeded hatchery produced. Holothuria fuscogilva juveniles in Lagindingan, Misamis Oriental. The center also aims to refine the culture production of sandfish Holothuria scabra towards an ecologically sound stock enhancement of sea cucumber as part of the center's objective to provide sustainable alternative livelihood to fisher folks, we produce Holothuria scabra juveniles in the university hatchery facility and are turned over to project sites for ocean nurseries and floating hapas for two months. So we are now harvesting the sea cucumber. This is one month old. We own in hapa, floating hapa at Kamigin, Taguinis Lagoon. After growing these in ocean nurseries, the juveniles are distributed to beneficiaries for grow out in modular pens and for seeding to enhance natural stocks. Ako di ay tuod si Mrs. Atanasia Gamo, ang municipal agriculturist, assigned in the municipality of Prince Ivan. Ani at kita karo na seeding ta sa 2,500 ka pieces ng si cucumber. dagat niya makaon <laughs> pero importante rin kay ilang role sa sa atong dagat sa atong sea kingdom one of the awaited infrastructure projects is the rehabilitation of the university fish pond the fish pond would help address the issues of increasing market demand and over exploitation of wild stocks by mass producing sandfish in the pond over the duration of the program, we have forged good partnerships with different institutions, LGUs, and local beneficiaries to arrange policies on sea cucumber resources in Mindanao and its implication towards conservation and management. 
growing deep sea cucumbers changing lives we all know that sea cucumbers they generally burrow or they go if they don't burrow they go very deep for shelter so like them we tend to burrow deep into research and development to determine status of its fishery and its trade and we burrow deep to really understand them the biology the ecology genetics then understanding them to mass produce them in hatchery so by by being able to mass produce them in hatchery we have enough materials for for seeding to enhance natural populations so we so we 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 change um the ecosystem for good uh, increasing populations in the natural environment and also by this this we also help local community grow the sea cucumber as a livelihood so hopefully through this R&D project we change the lives of our local community giving them a livelihood and from this we generate policy recommendations for its conservation and utilization